name is Roska D. I'm the son of a uh, Lorelei uh, Elgin and uh, Adrian Cunningham. And um, my father is uh, African. My mother is a Pomo, California native from the Dry Creek Band of Pomo Indians, or in our language, Macomo Mahilacano. The community here is mixed. It's people that have been relocated in the 60s and 70s from the Relocation Act. Um, people that have been uh, removed from their traditional tribal territories. So you have Lakota, Dene, um, you have um, various um, tribes um, that are here in the Bay Area. There is an experience here and uh, I feel like it's not necessarily all about just being urban, all about, you know, getting your latte and then, uh, you know, um, going to work maybe at the Native American Health Center, the Friendship House, some of the larger community centers here, uh, but there's also um, a community of, uh, of uh, people that are dedicated to, to not only the cultural experience of bringing the traditions and culture to, to the city, but also, um, you know, just bringing the whole way of life, you know, the spiritual practice, the, the, uh, the dance, the ceremony. In my culture, we believe that the soul is everywhere. It exists in everything. And all and all beings at one at, at one interconnected time, and so there's no like individual soul. It's like your soul is connected to, you know, what's going on uh, outside of you externally, in the plants, in the earth, in the, in the trees, and all you know all these different things. My mother um, bringing me up on a lot a lot of um, culture and um, traditional songs, and my song my family being. Um, um, a family that prays and sings and dances together uh, also gave me like uh, a kind of a well-rounded perspective. And then I had this whole alternative education um, through my mother and my grandmother and my great-grandmother. One of the first uh, ways that I learned uh, how songs can have power is through uh, going to the ceremonies and going to um, to see my, my grandmother um, heal people with songs, you know, I didn't... It took me a while to understand that those songs, not only did, it, did they sound good and, and they, have, they have meaning to them individually, but they also were meant for healing and they were meant for power, you know, and that's, and that's one of the ways my, my community has helped me to utilize some of those, some of that, some of that energy in, uh, in, in, into my music. And, you know, my way of life, really.